G'day, Jim Harnwell here from Fishing World magazine. I'm here today with Chris Neville. Chris works at my local tackle shop, McCullum's Tackle World in Nowra, and we're out on the Shoalhaven River, gonna do a bit of trawling. Now we've got some nice sandbanks along here, and we're gonna troll a few deep diving lures, maybe hopefully get a flatty or two. Now trawling's a really effective way to catch fish. You cover a lot of ground, that means you present your lure to as many fish as possible. A lot of young guys don't actually do too much trolling anymore. This is actually going to be Chris's first time he's ever gone trolling. Casting and that sort of stuff's really popular, but learning how to troll is a really handy skill to have. Uh, trolling's not a, uh, a boring, you know, senseless thing to do. It's actually quite a technical form of fishing. And once you get your troll run set up right, you get your lures set up right, you understand how, how far back the lure needs to be and you get in the right sort of country, you can actually catch some really good fish. It's also a really good way of finding areas where fish are, so then you can cast for them if that's your preferred sort of method. But the first thing we'll do now is just basically outline what trolling is, and it's basically towing a lure behind the boat. You tow the lure behind the boat, let out a certain amount of line, and uh, troll at a nice slow speed like we're doing now, probably two, three, four knots, and that gets the lure down, and depending on how deep you are, we're fishing in around about three and a half metres of water, so if you have a lure that gets down around about three, 3.5 metres, that means if you're chasing flathead like we are, you want a lure that actually touches the bottom every now and again, sends up a little puff of sand. Flathead being ambush predators, will see that, come up, smack it, and you're on. So basically what we do is let the lure out. Now I like to let the lure run a fair way behind the boat. You know, 50 metres is uh, not a bad sort of a distance. Basically cast the lure out and then just feed it back. Now the reason you let it go back about 50 or even more is because even though we're in a, uh, a nice quiet boat with a nice quiet Honda four stroke on the back, fish will still sense the boat moving through the water. You've got the hull slap, the engine noise, all that sort of stuff. So if you let your lure go back a long way, it enables the fish to uh, get over the boat actually going over the top of it. Then once you've got it back a, a distance, the distance that you want it to be back. Simply close the bail over or engage the gear if you've got a bait caster and you're trolling. Now you can tell if a lure is working or not by the vibration on your rod tip. Most people use braided line these days. Braided line gives you ultimate sensitivity. Also has a, uh, a, a far thinner diameter than mono, so it actually enables your lure to get down a lot deeper. Oh, just, I'm on. Well, Chris, I'm on. Nice work. Oh, looks like it's a good size, Jim. Yeah. What'd you get him on, mate? Uh, SX43. Yeah, that's not a bad one. Oh, beauty. <coughs> Look at that. Nice one. Cracking fish. Dusky flathead. I had oh. no idea that trolling would be this effective. Can be, mate. In the right spot. Well done, mate. That's a good fish. One of the great things about modern outboards is that they're really smooth and efficient, nice and quiet. You don't sort of have the, the clattery old, you know, old style two stroke blowing out blue smoke and all that sort of horrible stuff when you're trolling along. You can troll all day with these new modern four strokes. They don't oil up, no fumes, use hardly any fuel whatsoever. One of the great things also about modern engines is that uh, some of them offer a cruise control. So you can adjust your RPM so you can set your optimum troll speed and you just leave it. You don't have to worry about constantly adjusting the throttle. It's a really nifty thing. Uh, makes a big difference during a, you know, a long troll session when you might be fishing for two, three hours. Anyway, Chris, uh, we got that flatty out there a little while ago. I reckon if we keep working this bank here, we might, uh, might pull another couple, eh? Yeah, hopefully. All right, mate. Well, guys, I hope that little short video we've just done for you on trolling uh, helps you understand what an effective method of trolling is. It's uh, great fun. Once you get into it, you realise it's quite a technical form of fishing and there's heaps you can learn. So uh, I urge you to get out there and do a bit of trolling. Mm -hmm.